Hello viewers and listeners, this is Tito Tato with Asantua. Welcome to Did You Know This? I am Marian, your host. Did you know that most of the students at the start of their tertiary education, be it the university, polytechnic, teacher training college, nurses training college, etc., are tasting independence for the first time? Did you know that most freshmen and women struggle with staying grounded with a newfound freedom and therefore commit avoidable mistakes early on in their studies? Did you know that your actions and inactions at the start of your higher education can influence the rest of your studies and even professional progress later in life? Did you know that initial errors committed can be corrected to attain success in the end. This episode is dedicated to all fresh students entering institutions of higher education for the first time. The conversation is entitled, Setting the Foundation for Success in Your Tertiary Education, and it's between you and I. Stay tuned. I would like to start today's conversation by taking you through the content. The presentation will start with a background to the topic, we will go through dimensions of the human person, some keys to owning your studentship or your student status, dimensions of campus life, and then end with some keys to attaining academic excellence. Now let's look at the background. Common attribute of most institutions of higher learning globally is that one, tens to hundreds of thousands of freshmen and women, otherwise known as freshers, enter these institutions annually. And that majority of students who enter these institutions are in their late teens to early twenties. And that majority of these students are also leaving home for the first time and that some will be living without the direct guidance of teachers and parents also for the first time, and that some are leaving their home region or province for the first time. Even for some, it's the first time they are leaving their home country and going abroad. For some, it is the first time that they will be sharing a room with complete strangers from different backgrounds. And all these issues are realities of the average fresher and can present some challenges to their physical, mental, psychological, and emotional well-being. Being informed about these potential bottlenecks and making conscious efforts to work around them have been helpful to many. And I have no doubt that you will find the points raised here useful as well. Because the foremost reason for going to school is to study, the most logical advice you are likely to be offered is learn hard, study hard, or take your books seriously. This is good advice. However, academic excellence doesn't only depend on studying. The reasons for saying this will be indicated as I go on in the next session when we talk about dimensions of the human person. So now let's look at the dimensions of the human person. I present to you the tripartite theory of the human person, which categorizes the human being into three. That is, the human person is composed of a body, soul, and spirit. The body is the external part of the human person, so it's world consciousness. It's the part that gives us contact with the visible environment and other tangible things. It's responsible for the senses, the sense of sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing. The soul is responsible for a psychological state, your temperament, your personality, your character, your intellectual ability, your ability to think, your thought processes, your reasoning, your decision making, your retention of memory and your recall, all these activities are controlled by the soul. The spirit 
is that which connects us with a supreme being or a creator. In order to be able to live a successful life on campus and thrive, you need to be aware of your dimensions as a human person and that is somehow connected to how you're going to own your studentship. So the next point I talk about is the keys to owning your studentship. And here too, I present three keys. So you could call that tripartite as well. The first one is being intentional and purposeful. And the second one is that you should be knowledgeable and aware about your new environment. And once you have done these two, you need to plan on what you intend to achieve from this new environment. So now we pick them one after the other. Being intentional and purposeful, what does it really mean? It simply means that you have to be very clear about why you are in school. Is it because your friends are here? Is it because your parents ask you to further education? Is it because all your neighbors are going to school? So you think you should also go to school? What do you want from tertiary education? Is it a degree, a diploma, a certificate? What kind of certificate do you even want? Do you want a distinction? Do you want a first class? Do you want a second class? Do you want a third class? Do you want a pass? All these things, you have to think through them and make a conscious decision about them. The next point is that do you want other things such as friendship, a life partner, potential business partners, in addition to the certificate which for which you came here in the first place? If so, take notes. Do you want to grow in faith or maybe secure the first congregation of your future church? Because I know some people start their ministry as pastors from campus. If that is your goal, take note. In all this, you need to be mindful that your number one goal for starting your higher education is to complete with a useful certificate in hand at the end of the day. But it could come with other things. So now let's look at being knowledgeable about your and being aware about your new environment. For most institutions of higher learning, there is a guide of a sort for new students. If your institution happens to have one, look for it and grab a copy and read it from cover to cover because it's contain, most of the time it contains everything you need to know to survive and to thrive on campus. After you've gotten a copy and have read from cover to cover, get yourself acquainted with the terrain of your campus. The boundaries, the landscape, the gardens, the birds, the squirrels, generally the wildlife. The structure of governance of your university, whether you have a president, whether you have a vice chancellor, and the chain of command up to the student leadership. Acquaint yourself with all this. If your university or your institution has residential units, get acquainted with them as well because there's also a level of hierarchy in these units. If you happen to be living in one of them or staying in one of them, look around if they are mentors, they are hall tutors or wardens, knock at their door and have conversations with these people. If your university has physical structures for academic work, acquaint yourself with the lecture halls, the study rooms, the library. If there's an online teaching resource, explore it. If the academic tutors are tied to your program of study, talk to them and discuss issues with them. Get to know them, let them get to know you. If they are lecturers, Talk to your lecturers, acquaint yourself with them, teaching assistants, technical staff. If they are clerical and secretarial staff in your establishment, also get acquainted with them. The university or the tertiary institution will always present some kind of social and recreational facilities as well. So make sure you go around and look for these. The restaurants, the recreational centers, the gym, gym if there's any junior common room, or a place where students hang out, sports centers, familiarize with these facilities as well because they are all put together so that your stay on campus will be useful and fruitful. There are sometimes wellness and pastoral care centers attached to some tertiary institutions. So if there's a counseling center, if there's a chaplaincy, there's a hospital or clinic or any other such facility, 
visit these facilities and make use of them when the need arises. Now, after you have been conscious about and taking ownership of your studentship and have familiarized yourself with your new environment, you need to plan on what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve it. So just like any good building, a, a plan for your stay on campus should have a foundation, the walls and then the roof. So you need to have a clear mental picture of what the end will look like. Then you look at details of what you want to achieve every year. So the things you do in the first year, you could call the foundation. It's just the stage for every other thing. And then after we set the foundation, then you build the walls the second and third year of your study. And then the final year could be where you put the roofing on. So again, this is foundation, walls, and roofing. Also tripartite in nature. This is where I want to end part one with you. We'll continue with part two next time, where we talk about dimensions of campus life, keys to academic excellence, and then we round up. Thank you. Viewers and listeners, this is the end of our conversation on setting the foundation for success in your tertiary education. We'll continue with the rest of the outline next time. Thanks for staying.